What's going on guys? We are back with another video. We have the lightning swapped 2014 Mustang GT pulled in. We got a delivery today from our friends over at Holly. We are going to be putting a Terminator X in with a 5.4 liter lightning swapped 2014 GT. I think this is going to be the easiest way to get this thing fired up. We got to do a few things today, but hopefully we can hear this thing start up today. I got limited time. I got to leave it at three for the tracks. Let's see if we can get it fired up. We do have to install a fuel system, wire this up and go, but let's check out what's in the box. Okay, so right here we have a Holly 550 1216, and that is going to be a EV1 two valve mod motor. It doesn't really matter if it's a 4.6 or 5.4. The two valves are pretty similar. In the box, you're going to see this looks like our main engine harness. I've actually installed a few of these now at this point, so I'm pretty familiar with everything here. This being our power harness. We got our tiny little screen, so we can uh, do some stuff on there, but we mostly use the laptop to tune. Um, these do offer some kind of like plug and play tuning options. You should be tuning in advance, not simple. Looks like we got the injector harness, EV1, right there, the coil harness. So, we should have plenty of room to reach all these coils. Down here, down lower in the box, let's see what we got. We got the wide band included. Uh, these wide bands work great. These closed loop systems work really, really good. So uh, we are just running a single wide band on this, even though there is two banks, but uh, I think we'll be uh, good to go there. Wide band connector. We got a few other things. Here's our input output. I don't think we're adding anything yet as of right now because we have a map sensor. We have oil pressure sensor and fuel pressure sensor. And uh, that's pretty much all we need. So in here we have our coil drivers. These plug into that harness. It's what basically powers your coils. It also comes with an O2 bung. So if you needed to go ahead and splice that in, it's there. And of course, the brains of the operation, the Holly Terminator X. This is not the Max, it's the smaller one. It's all we need for this. We are not doing transmission control. My single turbo Coyote car has a Terminator X Max that could handle drive-by-wire and VCT, but we didn't end up using that. This one is a little bit simpler, a little bit cheaper, so we should be good to go. There is a vacuum line there for uh, naturally aspirated applications, but we have a 3.5 bar uh, map. Uh, sensor from Holly and some fuel pressure and oil pressure sensors that will hook into the harness. So I kind of got to figure out my game plan here. I did do a ton of work with this the other day. Uh, the starter's hooked up, but I do have to hook up the alternator to the battery power so that way we are charging the battery when it's running. So I got to hook that up. I got to do the fuel system. I got to put water in it. Uh, there's a few little odds and ends. I do still need to put a cable driven uh, gas pedal in there and figure that out. But I figured for first start, we could just go, uh, you know, the old, old manual. Weep, weep. Yeah, let's see if we can get it started today. It doesn't have an exhaust on it yet, but it does have the exhaust leads, so we can get that wide band in there. And uh, we're just gonna kind of go from there, see what we can get accomplished today, and see if we can get this thing fired up today. Never heard this engine run, but I've heard it turn over on the starter. I've pulled the valve cover off of it. It looks pretty solid, so hopefully it is. All right, guys, so I've made some really good progress. We got most of the harness kind of plumbed through, mocked up. I I'm obviously gonna tuck it away, but I went and ran it through the factory body harness grommet. And now uh, I actually mounted the Terminator X in the car. I think it's the safest place. I think that's gonna be a really good spot. I can tuck it right up there. I can have easy access with the laptop, USB, and everything else. So we're gonna continue on on our install. I just pulled out the stock fuel pad. We're gonna work on getting my four, uh, dual 465 return fuel pump setup installed right in there. Okay guys, so I got the three, I think, necessary wires. That and just a switched uh, key on power, but uh, yeah, right here. So uh, we have power uh, that goes constant to the battery, ground constant to the battery, and then uh, this is your fuel injector fuel pump power wire. So we got all that. Gonna get that hooked up to the battery. Okay, so got a little bit of more wiring done. It's now on key on the Terminator X. The screen lights right up. And you can see down there the ECU is lighting up as well. 
We also have this lighting up. And we still got a ways to go, get the fuel system plumbed, and get a few more things kind of ironed out. All right, guys, so we're going to wrap that up for today. Uh, I gotta head out to the track, but we got the fuel system mostly ran, so the feed line's here, Y block's here. We got one of the rails hit right there. We got the aftermarket rails hooked up. Might look like a little bit of a mess right now, but it's, it's not too bad. Uh, the Holly has power, so we're definitely in business to be starting up here pretty soon. So, key on power. We got the Holly basically running. So, we'll be here ready to start pretty soon. Okay, I guess we're gonna try it. Um, I didn't film anything today, but fuel system's done. There's a few little odds and ends that we need to finish up, but uh, I don't even think I actually put a tune on it. Well, I put a I put the basic wizard tune on it, so we'll see if she fires. All right, key it on. Key it on. You should see the holly. You should see the screen get power. The screen has power, I think. I just used the uh, setup wizard to go ahead and turn this on. We got a wideband in it. I guess let's see if it see if it starts. Ready? Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Oh, we got, she got fire hole. Give the give it a little throttle. Okay, uh, brake later. Okay, the tune is probably not quite ideal. There's a lot of there's a lot of things going on here, but I just kind of want to let it fire up. Ready? Is that enough? Yeah. Unless the battery's it's still at eleven nine. I know it'll fire. Doesn't the Holly have like a low voltage cutoff or one spark or one start it? It could. Okay, so I went ahead and made some changes to the tune. I didn't go ahead and like really tune it. I kind of just threw some injector data in there. Um, I will do a full tune uh, when we got a little bit more time, but let's go ahead and fire her up. Got a fresh battery in it too, so. Yeah, Whoa, buddy. Grab, I fired right up. Grab that throttle. Yeah, you can start it back up. The top one, and then you press it forward. It's running.
Uh, that's all good. All right, Eller, I mean, the key's not, not hooked up yet, but she's running pretty good. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the lightning build. Go ahead and hit that like button. Do it right now, please. Let's get this video out to more people. Get it on the algorithm. It's super fun. Next video, we're going to be driving this thing, doing burnouts. We're going to get on the dyno. We're going to see, is this thing a dud? Is it going to make 360 horsepower? Is it going to make 500? Do we need to port the blower? Maybe we do. We already got talking with jokers uh, about porting the blower, so... We're going to send those rods to the moon and maybe we'll have to build a pot of men for it. But uh, we're going to be going here pretty soon. Uh, I have been super busy lately. We got the baby home. She's chilling out with me. And uh, so hit the like button, comment down below, and we will see you guys in the next one. <laughs>